Hey guys, so today I wanted to do um, a really pretty daytime um, dramatic eye, which it's still, um, it's using darker colors, but it's more for daytime, so it's not as much for going out at night, and it's not too crazy dramatic where you can't wear it during the day. Um, I don't know, I would wear this during the day, <laughs> but, you know, that's just me. So, um... I'm using um, the Urban Decay Naked and Ammo Palette, and the only thing I'm using um, MAC Shadows for are my eyebrows and to go over my liner. But uh, other than that, there might be a uh, couple other things thrown in there, like brushes. and um, I always go over my eyes with a clear mascara, and my aunt is a hairstylist, and she told me that um, years ago, um, whenever I was trying to kind of train my eyebrows to go a certain way and she's like oh just get some clear mascara and honestly it was so hard to find I found it one time and then I could not find it forever after that but luckily it lasts a while but um yeah I could not find it anywhere and now it seems like it's everywhere like everywhere you go there's clear mascara and brow gel and stuff so um let's go ahead and let's get started Okay, so the first thing I did was I primed my eyelid with Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. Now I'm going to take Virgin from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I'm going to go right up here on the brow bone. And in this front crease right here, I'm just going to kind of blend it out all over the eyelid. Next, next I'm going to be using the Ammo Palette from Urban Decay, and I'm going to tap my MAC 217 brush in um, Maui Wowie and then in Chopper. And I'm just going to pat that right on top of the lid. And you want to do that a couple of times. Next, I'm going to be taking a little dome blending brush like this, and I'm going to be using back to the naked palette, naked, naked, naked palette from Urban Decay, and I'm going to tap it in Toasted, and then in Hustle, and I'm going to use this to go right up in the crease. blend it down and then I'm gonna take a little brush like this just any any brush to blend with this is like a little angled fluffy brush I'm just gonna kind of blend it out I'm gonna go back again with the toasted and the hustle And you want to make sure you tap it in toasted first and then in hustle because whichever color you tap it in last is what's going to lay down on top. Then I'm going to go back with my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to tap it again from in Maui Wowie and then in Chopper from the Ammo Palette. And I go right back over what I just did on the lid. And I'm going to take up my fluffy brush again that, and I'm going to go back to that virgin color. Right back up on that brow bone. Then I'm going to take that dome brush again and I'm going to slightly tap it in the toasted and the hustle and I'm going to go right up underneath the eye with it. Oh, 
You might want to do that a couple of times because I don't like to tap, get too much on my brush at once. I'd rather not have enough than have too much. Because if you don't have enough, you can always go back. It's a little bit harder to correct whenever you get too much on your brush. Next, I'm going to be taking um, a black liner. Any black coal liner will, will do. This is Smolder from MAC. And I'm just going to line my upper lash line. Now, if it's not perfect, don't worry. Um, we're going to go and we're going to take um, Carbon from MAC. It's just a black matte. Any one will do. I'm going to go right over what I just did with the liner. You just want to kind of bring it down into the lash, into your lashes, into your lash line. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. And I usually just like count to five. I'm going to be using um, Urban Decay Eyelash Primer Potion. And the Big Fatty Mascara. I love this stuff because you don't have to go over it like a billion times to get it on your lashes. It's really great. Now when you're doing your, um, your bottom lashes, if you want to slightly like touch when you do it, it's going to make it look a little bit more, a little bit more dramatic as opposed to just, just getting it on the lashes. Next, I'm going to take my angle brush and charcoal brown and I'm going to do, um, my eyebrow because we're already done this side. And one thing I have done for years and years, I find it helps to keep my eyebrows in place, is just take a clear mascara or brow gel and just go over that. Now, if you guys have a lot of this, I don't know if you guys can maybe see, um, little like glitter chips or whatever. Just take um, a pressed powder and just go right over that. It's going to kind of act as like a magic eraser. <laughs> okay, next for the cheeks, I'm going to be using Dame Blush from MAC. And I'm going to be taking my MAC 116 blush brush. And I'm just going to go right up here on like this front apple of the cheek and then blend it back. Front apple of the cheek. Apples of the cheeks right here and then blend it back. Now for the lips, I'm going to be using um, Native Nude from Sephora. 
and I'm just going to line my lips like normal and then kind of fill them in just a little bit, which that's just what I do. You don't have to do that part. And what I really love about this stuff is you can use um, Laura Geller Lip Spackle and it's going to kind of take out all the pigmentation from your lips. So it's going to give you, um, it's going to make a lot, a lot easier to do a really nude lip. And this stuff is great, which I have the Laura Spackle, but I really don't use it that often. But this, this stuff, I really like this lip liner. Then I'm just going to be taking um, MAC Lip Gloss in Electro Lush. What I really, really like about this color is it looks really dark, but um, when it comes out, it comes out like this really pretty, like, natural pink looking color. So I was really surprised with this. At first I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I don't know what that's going to look like, but I really like it. And I like, um, one thing I really like to do is wear um, Captive with this over it, because then it just makes Captive more, like, glossy looking, but it still has that really pretty, like, reddish pink color. But, um... I don't know how well you guys can see that. So there's your um, really more dramatic, but for daytime, not for nighttime. That's why it's more, it's more subtle. It's not as crazy with the eyes and it's a lot softer. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.